What about policy, uh, Mike? What, the policy framework, because you know, again, this matters a lot to you. How do you see the policy environment right now in Washington in terms of some of these issues? And, and what, what concerns you? What do you want to see done, whether on a global level, whether it's you know, on uh, climate change issues globally, or whether it's on a, on, a, on a national level or even on a local level? What, 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 are the, what are the policy priorities that you want to see addressed? You know, I, I do get to Washington uh, quite often. And so the overall concern, uh, which is even broader than the topic here, is how do we create an environment in our country, in the United States, and even around the world, where there really is more partnership and uh, bipartisan support of the right initiatives for the future of the United States and what's better for the world. So that's a, that's a big umbrella of concern about how do we help uh, to create bipartisanship as opposed to uh, this division that seems to be there. But I'll tell you as business leaders, I don't think we can sit back and wait. You know, I, I wouldn't be one that wants to wait for policy. Uh, I'd like to be encouraging movement, but yet uh, I think because I said earlier, the four reasons that Walmart is so engaged in this has got nothing to do with government or policy. And that's why we are charging ahead, uh, regardless of what happens in Washington or other capitals around the world, because it's the right thing to do. But, it's, but, but the government could obviously get involved, I'm not suggesting it should, but, but the, government, the government could be much more involved. I mean, a carbon tax, one could argue, or you know, would be a much more effective way of doing what you're trying to achieve um, you know, across, and, and you know, not just for one company, but across, across the board. If, since you believe in these things so passionately, are you, are you arguing in Washington for, 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 for policy solutions too? You know, I'm not always sure that government uh, involvement creates efficiency. I had uh, one... Uh, Why on earth would you so, say that? I can't. <laughs> I and <laughs> I remember back a few years in ago. Health care, for example. You're not, you're not impressed with the well, uh, government's uh, intervention there so far? Maybe I'll, we'll stick to sustainability for a moment. You know. uh, I do remember uh, one of the uh, uh, cabinet members asked me a few years ago, said, should the government create a standard index for products uh, that would relate to sustainability? And I said, no, sir, I don't think the government needs to do that. I think business needs to do that. And I said, so we're, we're going to be doing that. That's what I mean by the sustainability index and the sustainability consortium. I, I think that that's a type of thing that if business takes the lead, and I think if we all work together to be more aggressive in this area, then uh, if we can let government work on other things too. But, you know, I think there is a place for policy but I think if business leaders sit back and wait, then I think we're making a serious mistake.